just about that time, folks. We're into the upper bracket finals of the UGC Platinum Highlander Season 15 playoffs, where two of the best teams in North America, Menace to Society and Kids Next Door, will battle it out tonight on PL Upward to try and land their spot in the grand finals. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening here on X Television. I'm Gex, and alongside me, I have Grizz as my co-caster and Dasher on production to bring you guys coverage of this highly, highly anticipated matchup this evening. Grizz, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. You know, just enjoying a nice night. Weather outside is nice, and uh, should be a great game of TF2. So. Yeah, this was this is going to be one of the biggest matches of the season. As I said, we have two of the best teams in North America facing off tonight on PL Upward and. This can land a spot for whoever wins into the Grand Finals, which will be happening next week. So it's a pretty high-profile game here. Uh, lots on the line for both of these teams. But K&D and MTS, Grizz, obviously, as I said now, this will be the third time. Two of the best teams that North America has to offer, and they've got some pretty all-star lineups. You know, Why don't you uh, go ahead here and kind of talk about K&D a little bit, because one of the things that I'm really... Looking forward to tonight is the sniper matchups on both sides between Scissor and Marissa. Yeah, of course, Sizz coming off of a, a championship win last season for KND, uh, proving that he's a huge threat and definitely one of the best snipers in Platinum. Uh, going up with Marissa, who's uh, returning after a little bit of a break, a season off. But again, both of these snipers, huge reputations around them. Both incredibly solid, and uh, especially on a map like Upward, we're looking at that battle being one of the deciding factors uh, going forward in this match. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a big one here. Lots of room for the snipers to work with on both sides, so uh, it's definitely going to be looking to them to make a lot of the plays. And just a couple of things to note as far as roster goes, we actually have Enigma, who is going to be in tonight instead of Squid, So on, on Scout that is, so... Uh, that is certainly something that Enigma, also a very, very talented scout player, has had lots of experience in sixes, uh, as well as the Highlander game, so uh, definitely something to keep note of as we go on here. But the last time that these two teams played uh, was earlier in the season on, I believe it was Process, and KD did get the, the better of that matchup. Of course, totally different map type, uh, game type, excuse me, so... Uh, this is going to be a big one tonight. You know, with these two teams in mind, how they've been playing lately, and the map that we have, who you think is going to take this one tonight? All right. Well, last uh, last game, I predicted. I think I predicted hate. Uh, so I'm 0 for 1 in these playoffs. But moving forward, I'm going to make another decision that is not going to be popular, according to Saloon.tf. I am going to go ahead and pick MTS on this one. Uh, they've been looking extremely strong in scrims, and uh, this season, you know, I think their strengths are starting to shift a little bit. With their roster changes, picking up Giraffe on demo, I think they're feeling more comfortable with these objective, uh, more objective-based game modes like Payload, as opposed to, uh, you know, maybe Viaduct or Process, as we saw earlier in the season. Uh, I think Marissa is going to do a ton of work, just like she did earlier in the season against FaZe. Um, and again, Giraffe is probably the best Highlander demo playing the game right now uh, may be comparable to uh, Banny at times definitely very very solid um, I think that those two factors are going to be what puts him over the edge I think Akuma is going to make some plays that are going to definitely impact kind of Candy's defense which they're so famous for on this map I don't think they're quite ready for the pick classes that MTS is bringing tonight and this is, uh, I, we were kind of talking about it a little bit beforehand. This is one of Akuma's uh, preferred maps, is it not? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's had a lot of experience on Upward. A lot of spies have different opinions on it. I know some say that it's uh, pretty choky and difficult to get in. Others say that it's open enough that if you're good with the Ambassador, you can certainly make some picks that way. Akuma, you know, can really do it all. He's played more of a gun spy this season, I think. So it might be more comfortable on this map than, say, Storm. But both spies definitely got a lot of pick potential. I just think Akuma is going to bring bring the heat with that Ambi. And one of the things to know, too, is that um, although Akuma is an, an excellent spy, of course, one of the best and one of the best in the game, we also have to take note of K and D having such a strong pocket around Nursey all the time and how difficult they make it for the spies to get in there because I mean they keep such an eye on her 
at all times, and from all the games that I've casted of K and D, I I can easily count on one finger. Not that I've casted a whole lot of their games, but from the ones that I have, I mean, I can count on one hand. Uh, you know how many times I've seen her get get backstabbed. I mean, they have such a strong pocket, which I also think is definitely going to make it difficult for Akuma to get in. Yeah, uh, one thing that the KD just does so well is their spy awareness is just unbelievable. Not only do they have a pocket who's incredibly dedicated uh, to making that a safe space for a nurse, aid. Kresnik, excellent job. Uh, Ender doing an awesome job on Engineer, just working, uh, making sure that spy's not getting too close. And of course, Satan, one of the best pyros, probably the best to ever play the game, uh, also helping him out there. But on top of that, and a big difference that you're going to see most likely throughout this game is Harblue versus Nursey's spy awareness. Uh, when they're by themselves or when they're a little bit more vulnerable without that protection, Nursey just has a sense that uh, it seemed to help her out a lot this postseason, whereas Harblue, not so much. Yeah, so that's definitely something to keep in mind as we move forward here, folks. But we are live here. We're just kind of in our little setup period, period here. And we are going to get going. So k and starting off on the offensive side, pushing that card. MTS will be on the defense, and we definitely need to be uh, taking a look at these snipers to make some plays here because Scissor was one of the huge difference makers for k and last season uh, when they did win that Plat Championship. And uh, he went huge on all the maps and really did a lot for k and So we'll see what he can do here as well. It's the perfect map for him, but here we go. k and starting to get their way on up here, not too much action as of yet, but uh, Jarrett will go down right away there for K&D, so uh, pushing steady so far, nothing too much out of the ordinary here. We also have Storm Arion lurking. He managed to get all the way behind him, so uh, definitely something to keep an eye on as well. Yeah, pretty standard setup for MTS here, bringing that gun back. Nice job by Etni bombing in, taking down Marissa. That's going to open it up for K&D. Big pick by Etni there. They're staying steady on the car right now. They're down a lot of players so far. MTS is, I believe they're four or five down right now. They only have uh, three players up now, that is. They're just getting rolled over. The, both the Ubers have been popped off here on this first point, but it looks like k &D will get the better of this one here. The gun is still up, but I imagine it will be going down here shortly, so it looks like they are going to go ahead and grab this first point here. k and moving forward quite strong so far here. Yeah, excellent job pressuring out that point. That pick on Marissa was a great entry. Opening it up for Sizz and keeping MTS scared and uh, a little held back down that house. They're trying to get their setup here onto the second point as wow, Scissor actually managed to get Harb there, which is going to be a huge pick for K&D. That'll give them lots of uber advantage here, and they're already pushing steady on through here, but Jarrett gets his head ripped off by Marissa there with a nice headshot, but still K&D staying steady on the cart right now. Spamfest has a mini sentry out there, but so far, Nursey has about a 60% uber advantage, so they should, in theory, be able to take this second point with relative ease here as long as they don't let anything get in onto Nursey. Yeah, Candy, one of the more disciplined teams in the league. They're going to be very careful. Sid's getting a great pick again onto Harblue, taking him down wow. before he can even get 15%. That's great work by Sid. But Marissa returns the favor and takes him down as they're pushing around this corner. Here we go. They're getting set up and ready to go here. They're just sitting on the balcony. Nursey's got that heel beam sitting on Jarrett. So they're going to be taking this Uber in right now as they go ahead and pop it off on him. They take Jarrett and Satan in on it. Dill goes down there to a bite from Jarrett. And they're going to clear up some space here. Managed to get about three frags or so. But they're going to be able to at least get this second point here. Looks like they're wrapping back around though, MTS. Is they're coming back over the bridge side here. Nursey very hurt and actually goes down there. They get caught out. And a great pinch play there from MTS is... They managed to take down a few players here uh, from K&D. Nonetheless, though, they get Nursey, which is uh, a nice pick for them. So now K&D has grabbed that second point, and MTS has been forced to move on back. Yeah, really a nice play wrapping around there. Good idea by MTS to try and get that pressure on to Nursey and get the frag. But uh, while they were doing that, Ibby just jumped on him with that soda popper, did a ton of damage, and just dominated the flank of MTS. Uh, which kind of let them get this hillside, which is so important on Upward. All right, now Scissors sitting up top there. He's trying to open up a little bit of space, and he does take down Akuma uh, with a nice headshot there. So now it's just 
uh, kind of waiting on things are staying steady on the card all of mts is pretty much all of them inside of the house right now and actually their uber does get popped off they're gonna try and catch them out here's nursey is not quite up on her uber yet but uh, they managed to get a few frags here, but Nursey's still alive, so they're going to have a full add to push back into them with. They're just waiting for the spawns to come back through as a lot of their team uh, got wiped out there, but they're going to have a nice uber advantage Grizz to get right back into them. Yeah, again, that that might not have been such a bad play for KND, definitely getting that uh, pop from Harblue helped, but MTS doing what they needed to do and taking back the space and making uh, KND pop early on this hillside. Jared getting caught out, very nice work with by Giraffe sticking him out before he could really get anything done there. Now the Uber advantage is down to about 30% or so, and so many of the players from KD going down here, that's four down for them. They don't have much room, and as you said, the retake of that high ground from MTS has turned out very well for them here so far, as KD can't really seem to get a lane to to get in here and push into them. If they do, they're gonna have to pop early as they're still waiting here. Dill is sitting right up above them and now they know about it as Kresnik and Dill are gonna go at it, but he gets the better of them. But the Uber is forced out of KD, so they're trying to get forward here. The counter pop coming through as well from Harblue, so they're just gonna push them straight back down into that second area. Nursey is caught out and Enigma will take care of her. So, uh, so far MTS looking very good here. Actually, Harblue had gone down as well. Ibby doing work with that soda popper picking up two frags with that. And there's only two players up for MCS right now as Ibby is just going off with a 4K on that soda popper. And uh, now we should see things equalize out here a bit. KND retaking this high ground here. And uh, they should be able to pick up this cap here and continue to move on forward. Yeah, Ibby just pulling a great hero play as, oh, did Harblue just go down as uh, oh, trying to come out of that top yep. door? That might've been an excellent catch by Satan. Who was just waiting there as they were uh, MTS tried to get aggressive, but yeah, Ibby just saving the day there as he went off with that 4K, uh, doing what he he's kind of been doing all season, just waiting for the opportunity to arise and jumping right on that combo and staying alive with the soda popper. They are going to get set up here. Scissor doing some work, taking down Katzi, and uh, right now we have KD sitting up in this upper area here, and Harb and Dill will be sitting up on the back as well. Scissor getting yet another kill onto. Uh, Akuma there, so uh, that was actually he'll uh, he'll faint out. So that'll be Candy getting set up here at the entrance, uh, getting set to move in, but Kresnik gets taken down by Akuma, and the Uber does get popped straight on through main here. So we'll see what they can do with it. Getting denied so far, but uh, they are managing to finally squeak themselves in here. Giraffe could get caught out by Satan, but will manage to keep himself alive. And Scissor still wreaking havoc, taking down Giraffe with a headshot as well. So that'll open up even more room. 4 K and D right now. A lot of players are down for MTS and they're staying steady on that card. They're going to have to have an excellent defense here. Remedy jumping straight across trying to save the card. He does get them off it for the time being, but still K and D looking strong, pushing in here. Only three players up for MTS and I don't think they're going to be able to stop this one. K and D will go ahead and finish off the card there. So they got their four points in six minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty good looks there from K and D so far. MTS did have a a very solid third hold there for a little while, but eventually K&D just uh, proving to be a little bit too strong. Yeah, really nice work by K&D pushing into that last and opening it up for their sniper. That's a mistake a lot of teams uh, make is just not giving some of their classes enough room. On that last, it's important to let your scout uh, and sniper have a little room to breathe. And you saw what Ibby did there with just a little bit of space. Uh, just completely jumping all over Giraffe and with those five or ten or however many thousand jumps you get with the Soda Popper. Uh, just impossible to take down before he did enough damage for them to win that fight. Yeah, it's interesting. that I mean, not that I do a whole lot of Highlander games, but is Soda Popper something that you really see out of any other scouts in the in the plat scene? Or is it pretty much Ibby for the most part that, that uses that? I think we saw Milo switch over to it uh, for a little bit on the Viaduct game, but wasn't having much success and switched back. I think it's a matter of just getting used to it, and a lot of these invite scouts don't have the time to go back and forth, whereas Ibby is uh, almost full-time on it. Well, there you have it. So, about six minutes and 40 seconds, I believe it was, that K and D had on their first push here. So we'll see. Ibby goes down right away to a stab from Akuma, and MTS is going to have, have to try and go for an excellent offense here. They have already taken down Kresnik, though, so... 
That may open things up a little bit, but Giraffe did end up going down. So Ibby and Kresnik down for K and D at the moment. And I believe I saw a sentry gun go down as well over on the K and D side. So that could definitely uh, benefit will definitely benefit MTS here as they continue their push. So far, looking pretty good, though. They've gotten the card up there uh, quite quickly. No no Ubers have been popped off as of yet, but Jarrett and Satan both down. Kresnik as well, so that'll get the Uber pop out of both teams as they continue to push on forward here, trying to get this first point. And uh, they don't really have too many numbers here. K&D doesn't, as Nursi has already backed herself up all the way onto the hill here. Looks like they're going to have to concede this first point off to MTS, but a, a great first push there from them. And Giraffe on Nursey right now, but is Ooh. taken down by Satan. That was a very close call. One more sticky and uh, Nursey would have gone down there. Yeah, it was good that uh, she could keep himself alive, keep herself alive there. As, uh, Satan doing some work with the flares. So MTS, we see them pushing on forward here. Ubers are completely even for the time being as, as we said, Nursey was able to keep herself alive. So KD trying to get there set up here so far uh at least i i don't see much of uh much of a century there kuma tried to get in on a kresnik but was eventually spotted out uh, almost had the big play there but not quite so uh, still right now just kind of kind of uh, playing the waiting game seeing seeing what kind of picks these guys can get is jared actually getting a bit aggressive towards the top of the hill but will eventually decide to go ahead and back up as he was able to get one frag kresnik taking down giraffe as well so that'll be another a nice frag for KD, but both teams have the Uber here, so we should be seeing some pushes happen here soon once they get those reinforcements. Looks like MTS is ready to go ahead and do it as they tried to pop Remedy through, but got denied instantly, and both Ubers are going to get popped off here for both teams, and not really too many frags as of yet, but the big saw coming out of Nursey was trying to take down the, uh, the sentry gun there, but was able to get a nice saw off and uh, prevent that, so now it is... KD staying strong here on the second point, but actually end up giving it up despite having some numbers, and they're going to have to go ahead and back this one up onto the third point. Yeah, pretty nice hold for Candy. They were really set off, uh, thrown off balance there as Jared went down when they were trying to get into that second hold, but uh, Ender doing a nice job of just pulling that sentry gun back and setting up on a very, very important third point for Candy right now. They're definitely going to need a big hold here. They've got... Uh, MTS has about 3 minutes and 35 seconds to go ahead and finish off the cart, so we'll see if they can get it done in time. They're going to have to have an excellent push here to get themselves forward. Marissa will get Ibby with a shot from the Machina there, so here comes MTS. They go ahead and pop their Uber off. Nursey will go on the counter pop as well to save Jarrett, so just kind of smashing faces into each other right now, but Giraffe and Enigma have both gone down. Akuma goes down as well, and Spam Fest. MTS wiping out here, losing a lot of players as Harb was able to get an arrow off but and get a frag but not too much uh, not too much good came out of that push there for MTS K and D staying strong here on this third point yeah again K and D just very very disciplined in their holds what you saw when the uber was popped there Jared ran straight for the cart so that MTS could not push it at all uh, so their uber was spent entirely trying to get a gun that was too far back Nursey and Jared doing a ton of work on MTS, getting a lot of damage out. And uh, this start of the second team fight is looking not so great for MTS as a bunch of frags have already uh, been thrown in Candy's favor. And Scissor, Scissor has gone down here, but Marissa Spamfest and Harb have all gone down for MTS there. And Harb going down is not good news for MTS right now, as Nursey is going to be sitting here comfortably with this, with this full Uber and uh, just going to kind of wait things out and. Uh, so for right now MTS needs to start getting a big push going. They only have about two minutes left here to have some sort of a success, successful push as Dill was considering going up the side there uh, into the side house, but not going to happen. So still uh, K&D, as I said, with that full Uber, and they're actually going to go ahead and decide to push straight on into them with it, try and see if they can get some frags here. They were able uh, to take down a sentry gun. Jarrett will take care of those and a couple more frags coming through scissor gets the better of marissa that time as she did get the better of him last time but now that's three players down for mts and k and d uh, looking like they're going to come out on top of this one unless something uh, pretty nutty happens actually oh harp is up on that full uber though and has about a 60 percent ad so that could give them the room that they need 
Unfortunately, Giraffe just went down at a really bad time Ooh, for MTS, yeah. and they're not going to be able to use this Uber too effectively. They want to get Enigma and Remedy in there, which they are, but again, they're just going to get shut down by this Wrangled Sentry. Remedy getting a nice jump in the, uh, to take down Jared. And they have lost a lot of players in the process, though, as now they're just finally getting their spawns, but KD still kind of has a, uh, a hold here on this on this third point. Nobody's on the cart at the time being either, so it looks like KD should come out on top of this one here. Looks like most of them, or at least Nursi and Ibby, have set themselves up all the way on last year just for some insurance. Uh, meanwhile, Scissor's still wreaking havoc out here onto the third point, but MTS now finally getting their respawns to come through here. Nursi up on a full Uber, and MTS is going to try for one last push here. They only have 30 seconds. I'm not sure if it's even mathematically possible, but Nursi comes straight back through with the Uber to, de to deny them, and Dill will go down as well as basically everybody else on the MTS squad, and that should seal the deal there for K&D on, uh, on this first half here. Yeah, Ibby, I mean... <laughs> Every time there's an Uber fight, he's just somewhere else getting a 4K. Again, last team fight just dominating the flank of MTS as he got a frag on uh, Sniper and Spy, and I believe Pyro as well. Uh, so nice work by Ibby, just holding it together even when KND had a little bit of a slip up there. Yeah, Ibby's been tearing, tearing it apart here. He was actually sitting, uh, was sitting at third score, or I believe on. Uh, over on the K&D side, so it's definitely been doing lots of work for them tonight. So now we're going to see a change in sides here. Uh, once again, go at it on both sides one more time and see if uh, this time MTS can you know, come out and win this half because if they don't, they're going to get knocked down into the lower bracket. And, you know, so far, I mean, what do you see from, from MTS? Why, you know... Uh, what, or what's K and D doing that's that's getting the better of them, or what does MTS need to do to get themselves back into this? I mean, MTS didn't necessarily play uh, terribly badly. I guess is is a nice way to put it. They're not really making a ton of mistakes as much as K and D is just capitalizing on all the little ones they're making. They're not cleaning up the flank before they go in. Uh, MTS really isn't getting a ton of entry picks. They're just using those Ubers uh, kind of frivolously in my opinion, as we saw in that third point, it's so important to take down uh, that pyro and that sniper if you're going to try that push. And uh, both of the times they tried to push, they had one or both of those classes Where's still up for K&D, which is just going to waste so much time. So even with that, uh, I think it was 40% advantage, uh, Harblue just couldn't get on the important targets. Nursey staying safe, sentry gun far enough back. On, a, on that point, it's so difficult to push that you really need the stars to align, and you need to be a little bit patient for that to happen. Uh, Candy doing a great job of putting the pressure on, though, with that six minute and 40 second time. Yeah, Candy just has some some excellent team play all around, and that was one of the real uh, difference makers, at least last season for them, when they beat Ginyu in the finals, was uh, that excellent team play that they had, because they lost when they, when they were playing in that finals. They lost on the 5 CP map, I believe it was Gully, and then they came out onto Upward and then Viaduct and uh, just really got it together. And the team play really helped them on Upward, uh, whereas Ginyu didn't quite have that. But, uh, you know, regardless, it's, I think it really speaks to, to K&D's team play. They, they're very well coordinated uh, on all fronts there. And, of course, it certainly helps that, uh, that Ibby is just wrecking the flank left and right every time they decide to make a push. Yeah, I mean, you can see going up against Enigma through the stats in uh, the mumble for you, but Ibby coming down off with 19 frags and Enigma only at 9 right now. So pretty big uh, difference there as far as scouts go. But I don't think, I don't want people to be confused. This map is very, very hard to attack against a good team. Um, in Platinum, a pretty good time is still around 8 minutes, 7 minutes. Uh, so 640 is pretty fast. That's That put a lot of pressure on MTS. I'm thinking that going into the second half, uh, we're going to see a few adjustments. We're going to see a little bit more discipline play out of Giraffe, um, as well as some of the other MTS players. And I think they're going to adjust and have a pretty solid defense in this next round. So I think KND is, is out to hold uh, somewhere maybe in the 10-minute range to make this an easy second round for them. They're definitely going to be looking good here, or 
uh, they've been looking strong so far, I should say. And uh, are, is the is the next uh, next stage of our game here starting? I, I seem to be at a black screen on my uh, on my game. I don't know exactly what's going on with it. Uh, is it started yet? Uh, I still have uh, just pre or uh, okay. in between games. So okay, there, there, I'm back in. All right, we're all good. Uh, yeah, but when I was looking at the stats there as well, I also saw that. Uh, Harva died seven times in uh, in that first exchange there, and Nursi only died twice. And it, it kind of seemed uh, a lot of times that you know you would turn your head for a second, and Harb just found some other way to die. Uh, you know, a couple times it was to sniper and various other classes. But uh, you know, I don't know if it's it's careless mistakes from him. I don't know if that's something that. Uh, you could necessarily say. I mean, I, I don't know what uh, what you think about it, but it, to me, it seems like he he's just dying uh, a little bit too much. And I don't know if that's because of the pocket around him or if it's him just being uh, overly aggressive, as we were talking about before. Well, looking at his deaths, uh, he's got two to Ibi, one to Satan, two to Sis, and one to Storm. So. Again, two of those may be a little bit more preventable by himself being Sizz's picks on him when he was dancing around in the sight lines too much. Uh, Storm, obviously, the spy is everyone's responsibility, but Ibi, I think that is a, a chalked up to his pocket. He needs Dill there to track down that scout because with those soda popper jumps, it's so hard for a giraffe to get two pipes on him. So... I think that, uh, and especially with Satan, that's absolutely a preventable death unless that was Satan chasing him down. Uh, I think that MTS's pocket, I think Dill normally playing a bit of a roamer position, but I think today he needs to play a little bit more close. Yeah, especially with uh, with Ibby running around there and wrecking, wrecking stuff up there on the soda popper. So uh, we are just about to get started here, guys. Ten seconds and we are right back into the game. So... MTS now is going to be on the offense, seeing if they can get uh, something better than they had last time here. They're going to have to come out with a good offense here to start things off right away. Scissor taking down Spamfest uh, right out of the gate. Launcher, so he's trying to go oh. for a kick. Oh, and he bombs straight into him. Wasn't able to get anything. He's going to die as well. Went for it, uh, but not, uh, not quite able to get anything with that. So uh, he's gone down. Actually, Ibby now running on... Uh, Shortstop. Yeah, shortstop, which is uh, an interesting change in weapons as well. I'm sure that's not necessarily too common within the... Uh, or do people use that as well? I've never seen a run in a plat game. <laughs> I, I know that uh, Josh was running it in gold this season and having some success. So I have no clue how it's going to work out against these players. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe Who knows? Maybe it's the new meta. But Marissa at this time taking down Scissor. Uh, with a nice headshot there, gets a better of him. So that'll open things up just a bit here for MTS, give them a little bit more freedom to move forward here and not have to be quite so careful. So now they are just pushing straight on forward into them. Still haven't popped that Uber off yet. Two players down for Candy. Now both teams exchanging those Ubers here finally as they just kind of smash faces into each other. Satan was able to get Enigma. So Satan here going for some after Uber uh, wreckage here and he does take down Giraffe with a flare but Marissa doing work right now with a Machina able to pick up two frags as well so now they've definitely opened things up MTS has here on this first point there isn't uh, as far as I can see anyway a sentry gun up so uh, they should be able to move on forward here though Dill goes down Marissa getting scissor once again with that Machina I'm doing work so far I'm getting yet another one to Jared as well it's a 5k for Marissa right out of the gate here and uh, doing excellent work to open things up for her team. And this is really what MTS needed. They needed their pick classes. There goes Akuma. Wow. Both pick classes doing extremely well uh, towards the top of the scoreboard to start this off. MTS being very aggressive, kind of trying to pin Candy in their spawn while the card has moved forward with times three. This is a very, very aggressive play by MTS, but it looks like it's paying off as they have been on the card this entire time. Yeah, they are just rolling through right now, and Marissa again taking down Kresnik with a headshot. And Scissor finally, finally ends that killing spree that they desperately needed to end. As uh, finally Marissa is out of play, but they are right on to that second point. They've gotten two points here in two minutes and 21 seconds, so things looking good. Firing on all cylinders for MTS right now as they continue to try and push on forward here. They do have a slight Uber ad. Uh, but just being in the position that they're in, they're not really going to be able to do too much with that there as they're trying to get themselves uh, out of here 
from underneath and they're gonna go ahead pop that off scissor did go down right before the fight and they still haven't been able to force anything actually nursey didn't quite have the uber yet but now will counter pop to shove them right back down in and etni is going in for a big bomb there but will end up going down to remedy with a nice rocket there as well so about four players down for each side or so but the spawns are coming through quickly so far KD having a uh, for the time being at least having a hold here on this third point but akuma is lurking in the back so they do need to be careful and the hard blue in an incredibly aggressive position waiting for his team to come support him just chilling under ramp here does have some great support from marissa who's watching this sight line here sis trying to get a, uh, a pick back on him but it's taken down by remedy Wow, so MTS still looking pretty strong here. They've already gotten up. They're going to get this Nursey. third point here in just a second. Nursey and... going down there to a nice stab by Akuma. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, <laughs> oh, no. nice acting uh, and sneaking around by Akuma to get Nursey right out of spawn. I'm glad you caught that because I didn't, but that is a big pick uh, there for them, and that should definitely help them out here pushing last as now Harb has a full Uber and Nursey is only sitting at about 20%, so they're up top here they're getting ready to go because they've got the whole team sitting up here marissa is just trying to see if maybe she can get a little something here before the fight starts but i did hear an uber pop off looks like they're going to come up straight from under here but so far satan has been denying the uber kresnik is going to go down here in just a second i would imagine from enigma and he was able to get him so now it's a couple players down on each side but mts staying pretty strong here scissor did get giraffe though which is a nice pick for k and d but they've still got to deal with uh, this MTS squad who has just been rolling so far on this round. Yeah, MTS just has a ton of momentum on this map. They busted through the third hold that gave them so much trouble in the last round. This is looking a lot more like uh, classic MTS with this very, very aggressive playstyle. They're getting the cart pretty close as well to capping, but Jared's gonna go out and wreak some havoc with the stick he's taking down. I believe that was three players with those sticks, and now opening up some room here for KD to come back out, but Marissa says no to end, uh, end his streak there, so that will be uh, kind of evening back out here as they've been forced to kind of back themselves up a little bit. K&D has, but MTS is going to be coming back with the cavalry here, and they go ahead and pop that Uber straight out of main. Giraffe going for that sentry, seeing if he can get it. Still not quite going down yet, but I would imagine going down here shortly, but Ender was doing a good job of keeping it up, but finally it's going down, and lots of frags coming through. K&D getting destroyed here on this last point, getting time on the card. It's pretty much up to Satan if he can deny it for long enough to get his team spawns back on through here. Nursey just goes down, was at about 80% Uber. So, but the spawns coming back through here, the, the plays from Satan were holding them off the cart for just long enough. And here comes Ibby as well, doing some work with that soda popper once again. But Remedy is right on the cart. It's gonna come down to Ibby, jumps straight over his rocket and gets taken down by Storm Arion, actually. Remedy did so. What a hold there for KD so far. We'll see if MTS decides to push right back into him. I think they're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of get some of these spawns up here. Looks like they're ready to come straight back in here, though. So the action never ending as uh, the Ubers are going to be relatively even as well. And Nursey was in a bit of a dangerous spot, but we'll go ahead and back herself up as Etni and Jared are doing some work here as well. Etni's on a 3K and Scissor was able to get Remedy. So MTS getting ready once again. Uh, they were looking like they're getting ready for a push. We might see a little bit of a little bit of a hold here for a second, but great hold from K and D. Wow, and those picks coming in at the end were crucial, taking down Giraffe, the demo man, and Marissa, who are both just putting so much pressure on Candy. And some incredible plays there from Satan dancing around the car, getting two frags and backed up by Ibby, who cleaned up the rest. Great work by Candy holding onto that cart. Hey, uh, that was just a fantastic hold from them. They definitely needed that. We'll uh, at least give themselves a better time. Uh, to work with on the offense here next time, but both teams have that Uber. They're ready to go. Marissa once again getting the better of Scissor there. Jared was able to get Akuma, but looks like the Uber is popped off here. Harb doesn't really have anybody though. Tries to hand it off to Enigma, but wasn't uh, isn't really able to get much of anything with it. Now Nursey is going to be left with a full Uber to sit here and actually decides to pop it as Marissa was getting very aggressive. She missed the shot though, but Nursey decides to pop anyway. They're not really going to be able to do too much though. Ibby coming through does take down Harb there as well. So that is a big pick sending him straight on through there and gets Marissa to boot with that soda popper. So just wreaking havoc once again with uh, the... Uh, the uh, apparently underestimated weapon there, underused, because Ibby is just destroying with that thing here on this map so far, but 
Uh, that'll be uh, that'll be Candy with yet uh, another great hold here. It looks like they've got themselves in pretty good position. They don't have to worry about Uber advantages either. They're up about 20% or so. So what looked like it was going to be a, a troublesome troublesome round here for KD off the start is turning out to, uh, you know, they managed to salvage something out of it. Yeah, and again, those those came down to some key plays by certain players, but KD doing a great job of just falling back into that position that they feel comfortable with. Ender back on level 3 sentry. Uh, Ibby did get sniped there, so they don't have that flank presence, but he will be up shortly. Uh, just doing a great job of kind of holding MTS, uh, keeping him honest here, not letting him get too much space that they don't deserve. Marissa was able to get uh, was able to get Satan here, so that might be time for them to go ahead and come on through with a push here if they don't have to deal with a pyro. They're still waiting right outside here, but Giraffe gets his head blown off by Scissor right as he tried to go ahead and peek through main, and that is definitely going to stall their push here for a bit, as Akuma was right in onto Nursey and Jarek, but wasn't quite able to convert on the stab, but that force them to go ahead and pop that uber off but although he wasn't able to get the frag a great force nonetheless and that should definitely leave it open here for mts to push straight back in here with this uber they have it they're ready to go and they're gonna pop it straight on through main see if they can finally finish off this round they're coming on through here sending enigma forward to get satan akuma was able to get ender with a backstab here so they're still pushing right on through here storm arion on the cart Trying to stop it, but Ibby goes down as well to Marissa, and they're finally going to get that cap here. It looks like Etni trying to delay it for as long as possible actually managed to do so, and Jarrett's going to be there as well. Needs to be careful, turn around for them on the cart, but he does get taken down, and that will finally be a cap there for MTS in 9 minutes and 30 seconds. What looked like it was going to be about a 5-minute round uh, turned out to be a great last hold there for K&D, and MTS finally got it together on that last push there, thanks to the force of Akuma onto, uh, onto Nursey. So, uh, 9 minutes and 30 seconds, that's our time. Yeah, wow. I, I don't want to chalk that one up uh, as much to MTS uh, flubbing it as just some great plays by K&D. Satan at the last point. Yeah. Ibby getting two frags on Hard blue to give Nursey some time. Nursey choosing to run crits, which turned out uh, resulted in a couple frags coming in from Jared, installing that push out. Um, overall, some really smart decisions made by KND to save the round, but gosh, some of those were just coin flips. Yeah, that was an extre extremely exciting uh, last point there. Uh, from both sides. Both sides had some awesome plays. Marissa was doing excellent as well on that uh, on that last round there. I mean, she was just tearing through him uh, on Sniper. Really, really doing good. Winning a lot of those battles against Scissor. Of course, he did get some too, but um, it really helped the team out on, on those initial pushes, at least, on the first three on the first three points. Really opened up that space, and once again, taking down Jared here to start things off. So already, Marissa's presence felt here is now K&D is going to be on the offense now, of course. Akuma was able to get Kresnik there with a nice backstab. So now it is uh, it's going to be K&D, as I said, on the offense here. And Ibby trying to wreak some havoc once again. Was able to get Remedy as well as Marissa, who are sitting on top there uh, just above the sentry gun. So now Scissor's going to have some, some range here to... Uh, try and work his magic and the uber is actually going to get popped already here from KD as they're trying to get jared on through here but haven't really been able to do so katsu did a good job of denying that uber and they weren't really to get weren't able to get too much space there KD wasn't so uh, kind of back to square one but they're gonna keep on keeping on here pushing forward so already moved that card up quite a bit but the spam coming on through uh, from the demo man of MTS to finally take down Kresnik as Remedy finished it. Remedy finished. Remedy? Can I talk? Hello. Remedy finished him off. And Marissa gets the better of Scissor once again. So a lot of players down for KD. They're going to have to go ahead, back themselves up here, wait for the reinforcements, and uh, try again at that push. Yeah, again, just looking uh, for a chance to get in, taking down Marissa. Uh, but after that, they got a little bit hasty, popped before they could tell where Katsy or Hardly was. Uh, Hardly was too far back to really get a force too quickly, and Katsy was sitting right by the stairs, which was just perfect position to deny Jared. Yeah, excellent, excellent work from Katsy there to deny that, as you said. But they're going to go ahead and send the Uber right on in with Jared there trying to do some work. He wasn't really able to do much of anything. Meanwhile, Marissa is wreaking havoc all over K&D, picking up three frags there 
and they've opened up maybe a little bit of space here, K&D has, but so far MTS is uh, pretty strong here, but they're getting pinched in from both sides here. Kresnik's coming around from the side as well, and Harb is uh, debating, coming back in, trying to get some arrows off at least on the giraffe to try and save him, but he knows now that uh, the first point, all hope is lost there. So, ooh, excuse me, so he'll back himself up, meet up with his teammates, a lot of players down for MTS right now, and we're going to see k &D just continuing to uh, push straight on through here. Spam Fest also wants to try and get that sentry gun up quick before the push comes on through. But uh, so far here, just going to be waiting for this K&D push. They do have slight advantage. Jared going down there to Marissa. That's a great pick and a stall out this K&D push. I don't know if anybody saw it uh, based on the... Oh, sorry. Akuma taking down Nursi. That's a very important. That's going to totally stop this push in its wow. track. Uh, great play by Akuma, but it'd be going for the 1v6 earlier and getting three frags from it and forcing them all back. Yeah, it's, it's incredible uh, what, what Ibby's doing here so far. It's It's been awesome, and uh, it was, oh, I'm trying to think of who it was. Etni actually got in just, just before the backstab happened there onto Marissa. Etni almost got in, was just a hair away from taking out Harb uh, with a bomb. Luckily, the sentry was there to... Uh, deny it, but got Harb down to very, very low health, but he did manage to keep himself up. So now they do have uh, some advantage here to at least at least some time to kill uh, with holding with this Uber here, and uh, Dill has gone down, and they're actually going to use that Uber offensively and trying to push straight into him. Satan denying him so far, finally going down as Enigma will finish him off, but they weren't really able to do much of anything with that Uber, and now they're going to be forced to back up. Nursi is almost up on her Uber as well, so they should be able to push back in here and have some room to work with. But uh, we're going to be seeing that push here in just a second as they're working themselves up. Akuma is lurking, and Nursi actually goes ahead, pops that Uber off. Jared's going to do some work here, takes down the sentry, seeing if he can get anything else, but not quite. Got a pipe off on the Katsy and did finish her off with a sticky as well as Ibby picks up a couple frags here. No surprise there. Nursi trying to get away and just wasn't quite able to. Akuma was able to uh, finish her off there. Actually, Dill finished her off, but uh, Akuma did get some shots into her. So MTS managing to hold this second point here uh, despite the big ad that K&D had, but uh, they, they do hold on to the second point, and they've had a, a great defense here so far. Yeah, this is really what MTS has to do. They can't bank on a huge last hold like KND does. It's just too risky. They need to get good time on all these holds. And that's exactly what they're doing. They have a great second hold here. They've just been really putting the pressure on Nursi, which is something they just weren't doing at the start of this game. Yeah, Nursi certainly dying a lot more this time uh, than she had on that first half. So uh, finally MTS getting those frags out that they needed onto her and We'll see, Spamfest has gone down, Storm Arion got him, a couple frags coming through from Enigma as well, and Akuma gets the big headshot onto Satan with that Ambassador, and now Storm Arion's trying to get a little something going here, but he will fall as well, so now uh, can be in a bit of a rough spot here, they've only got about four minutes left to work with, and they still have yet to cap this second point, so time is certainly of the essence for them right now. Yeah, KND needs to break this hold now. And a pick on Marissa or Giraffe is what they need. Um, again, getting a couple of flank picks, but the MTS just so dug in right now. And with MTS just raid it, waiting, there it is. Great pick by Sis to get both players they needed. Wow. This is the time to make a play for KND. They need to be up time three on this part because the next two points are just as hard. Uh, and they do pop the Uber off a good... Uh, good holding them back so far, uh, Satan was, but now Enigma's going to be chasing after Nursi, and she will go down there. Enigma decided to go ahead and plus forward there and take her out. They do manage to get this second point finally as they got the openings that they needed from Sizz that time. Uh, but, uh, you know, they did lose Nursi in the process, which is uh, certainly not ideal. But actually, Harb had gone down as well, I believe. I didn't see him go down, but uh, he did, so that will be... Uh, that will be a little bit of advantage here that K&D has to work with to move on forward here. They only have about three minutes left, so they need to get a big push going now if they want to prevent this one from going into some overtime. So uh, they've only got that cart just a little bit past that second point, but they are staying steady on it. They only have it uh, times one for the time being, though, as Marissa is just wreaking havoc as well on a three kill streak here. I heard another headshot get popped off as well, so uh, she is still continuing to do work. On, uh, on the defensive side as well, and getting the better of Sizz once again. 
Oh my. And Kresnik. <laughs> Great five kill spree by Marissa. Who's just having a field day here on Upward, just dominating Sizz as well as the bulk of KD. KD pops that Uber off, and they weren't really able to do much of anything with it. I mean, they barely even got some. Uh, barely even got any positional advantage here as MTS is just right back in them and they go ahead and pop that Uber off sending Giraffe straight on forward here to push him back further but so far pretty good denial from Satan at least keeping them uh, from extending too far into them but nonetheless MTS is going to have a big positional advantage here and Marissa has pretty much free reign right now sitting on top there does have to be careful of uh of Sizz, of course, and Ibby's back there causing a little bit of trouble. Wasn't quite able to get that frag on the hard that they desperately needed. So now Candy's just gonna have to go, uh, just go for it right now. There, the time is of the essence here. And Scissor got Marissa, and that is an opening that they certainly need uh, to open up some room for them here. So Candy is gonna have to make a ballsy push here, and Sizz getting a nice headshot onto Giraffe as well. But Remedy on a bit of a kill streak of his own, and they're going straight in for Nursey here, still managing to stay alive, but Enigma ended up finishing him off, and that time the pocket around Nursey was not strong there. They just allowed Enigma to get straight into him, and uh, this is gonna be pretty darn tough for KMD to, to get this one. It's actually, the Uber was, uh, the Uber was popped off there from, from Harv, he sent, I believe he's, he just sent them on four. They weren't really able to get too much with it. They've actually lost quite a few players. They only have two up right now. It's Marissa and Spamfest. Or, sorry, those are the players down for MTS. But there's only 50 seconds left here. They still have yet to get the third point. So it looks like MTS is going to come out on the better of this uh, on the better of this second half here, which is uh, something, of course, they desperately needed. But a lot of players wiping out here from MTS. I still don't think they can... Uh, mathematically do this here. They've, they've got just about no time on the card here. It's 30 seconds left. Nobody really pushing it, so uh, that should be about all she wrote, but MTS does force the overtime here. Yeah, again, on that last pop, I think Etni kind of wrapped around with Storm and got some pressure on to Marissa and Harblu. Um, so I think they weren't really trying to Uber there, but yeah, mathematically just not going to happen as the clock ticks down here. Candy's got to just be trying to get some momentum. Uh, just showing MTS that they can they can frag at the end of this game. But yeah, there it is. MTS taking the win there. Uh, pretty convincingly, I'd say. I mean, a little bit held up on that last point, but extremely solid defense. And uh, that's, that's really what I thought the first half was going to be uh, looking like, but k and doing a good job of catching MTS with their pants down, and MTS just not really bringing their A game for the first round. But there it is, second round. Marissa just going huge. Let's take a look at the stats. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see exactly what that was because that was just some unreal stuff uh, from her as we take a look at it. She got 32 frags on, uh, on that second half there, which is just massive. Yeah, uh, and on top of that, Enigma kind of trading places wow. with Ibby from last yeah. round, coming off with 34, including seven <laughs> picks on the Pyro, six picks on the Soldier, and three scout picks. Almost, uh, actually a little more than half of the frags coming in on flank classes, uh, which just destroyed Candy that round. They couldn't really get a hold. They were under so much pressure uh, from both uh, Marissa and from Enigma. And Remedy, too, doing a ton of work on the flank, uh, as well as getting some pressure on Nurse. Enigma, three frags on Nursey. That might be a slip up by KND by not protecting her well enough, but it might also just be chalked up to Enigma's game set uh, coming in at the right times and just <laughs> destroying Nursey at three separate occasions during that game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, and would you say that, that I mean, the, the success on the flank for MTS was... Uh, you know, what, the key thing that really led them to be able to get that half? I mean, Upward is a map that it, it, it's a it's a payload map that requires so much teamwork. And when your flank is doing well, it allows your combo and uh, pick classes a little bit more room to breathe, a little bit more space. And because of that, when they were keeping the pressure on, Marissa had more room to snipe, Giraffe had more room to put that damage out. So I think that you can all you can trace that all back to Marissa heating up a little bit and keeping Sizz down, uh, who was doing a lot of work the first round, 
uh, as well as focus. I think they focused Ibi much better that round, keeping him uh, under control, limiting his influence, and just focusing him down when he tried to get those hero plays in on hard blue. Yeah, I definitely kept Ibi a lot quieter uh, that time. As I believe he only got around, I think it was 23 frags or something. I'm not looking at the stat page anymore, but it was certainly a lot less than uh, he was able to get on the first half. So uh, good job there from MTS. Took him, took him around, but they did get themselves right back into it. So we're just waiting now on the uh, the start of this overtime period here. Now, me being not as familiar with Highlander, is this just going to work as basically just another round offense, defense, boom? Uh, that's that's the tiebreaker? or Yeah, just going to see one attack uh, from one team and a defense from the other. They're not going to have to do another two. So it's all going to come down to this. K&D, no doubt, given a pep talk. Harblue also probably psyching his team up. Uh, I'd love to hear some of the mumbles from both of these teams, but right now this is do or die. Uh, loser's going to go face Hate in the lower bracket finals, who looked very strong today on Upward from what I hear. So uh, both of these teams worried they might be eliminated if they lose this round. Yeah, certainly a lot on the line for, for both sides here. Nobody wants to be put into the situation of being in that lower bracket because then you have all the pressure of, you know, if we lose one more time, we're done. So uh, certainly... Both of these squads want to come out on top here, put themselves through into the championship, not have to worry about playing that lower bracket final, and they can uh, you know, sit comfortably, at least for the time being, until uh, the championship rolls around. So we will be starting here in just a few minutes, folks. I, I would assume we're uh, going to get going here. We got nine on both sides, and uh, the ready-up should be coming through, but... Uh, you still sticking with that uh, with that MTS prediction? Because if they, you know, I, you know, I'm liking it now after after seeing them on that half there. If they continue that up, uh, I, you know, I could definitely uh, definitely see them coming out on top of this one. Now, uh, I may have cheated a little bit. I did watch some of MTS's scrims and uh, kind of uh -huh. saw how they were playing, um, as well as KND. But I still, I didn't really expect that first round for KND. They came out swinging. Uh, but MTS looking like they leveled off their heads going into that second round and took it to them. Uh, looks like it's just all business right now. There's a, a serious demeanor despite the fact that we cannot hear anything from either of these teams. Yeah, this is the, they know what's on the line right now. This is definitely big for both of these guys. It's a big statement match as well because this has really been the game that a lot of people have been looking forward to across the whole uh, the whole Highlander community this is very highly anticipated. Everybody knew this was going to be a good game, and that's exactly what we're getting here tonight. I mean, these guys are just duking it out on Upward tonight, and this can say a lot going into uh, the championship here. Who comes out on top? Who can, you know, really keep the composure together and, uh, you know, come out on top of this? Because, I mean, it's a 0-0 game right now for all, for all intents and purposes. Uh, it's, you know, it's a 0-0 zero -zero game. It's anybody's game right now. And if MTS keeps up that work that they had there, uh, they can certainly, certainly do this. So now it's going to be MTS on the defense and KND on offense. And Scissor starts it off nicely for KND by getting Marissa. Giraffe was able to get Storm Airy on there. So, uh, so far, definitely going to be looking to these snipers here to uh, make some of these big plays. Marissa did last time. Sizz was doing it on the first half, so we'll see what they do. But the Uber's been popped off already here. They're sending Jared forward, but Cassie is just denying this Uber completely. She has left them in the dust there all the way back on the stairs. And Giraffe is just wreaking havoc with those stickies, picking up three frags there and wiping out KND. They only have five players left up alive here. Sizz will get a frag right back into them though, taking down Enigma and Marissa. There she is, taking down Sizz with a uh, big headshot there. So, uh, fail, uh, you know, relatively failed first push. There. Oh. There's Marissa getting Nursey with a headshot and that's exactly what the doctor ordered. A great way to start off this defense. Yeah, great work there from Marissa, kind of returning exactly where she left off in that second half. Again, Sizz needs to make a statement. He can't. <laughs> He's got to just punish Marissa for how aggressive she's being. She's hitting her shots and uh, just tearing Candy apart right now. Akuma taking down Jared. Very big pick. Is that's going to stop this push pretty solidly? Nursey still dedicated to this push, but it looks like she's slowly falling back. 
This is the time now where Candy really needs to keep their composure together because this has got to be a bit frustrating for them at this point. And uh, excuse me, it looks like MTS actually popped off their Uber there. They tried sending Enigma on forward, but he gets denied. Everybody really didn't have too much of a chance at getting in there. Sizz did get a headshot off onto somebody. I heard it, but uh, he wasn't quite able to finish him off. Marissa actually took a big shot there, and there goes hard. Sizz getting the counter pick straight onto the med, and that is... Now exactly what K&D needed here to get something going for them. Nursey now up on a full Uber and they will go ahead and pop that straight on through here to get this sentry gun as well as uh, as well as the others here and push them right on back. So good stuff from Sizz finally getting a big pick that he needed onto Harb and uh, we'll be left with relatively even, u even Ubers here but a lot of players went down for MTS there in that last exchange. Yeah, very nice job by uh, Kresnik getting up on the top of that house and providing some great pressure. Sizz taking out Marissa. There it is. This is what KND needs. They need him to just start up in his game and putting the pressure on. Kresnik dropping onto the combo, trying to do some work, getting some damage there. Uh, and Eddie with a big bomb coming in. Yeah, wasn't quite able to get anything with it. I, I, I've been seeing that Etni does like that bomb though, just wrapping right around the corner and landing on top of him. And Remedy tried to get in there for a little something, but maybe we'll deny that. And uh, Kuma was actually able to get Sizz as well with a headshot from the Ambassador. So uh, we see KD trying to get on forward here. The Ubers are even. A couple players down on each side here as well. Looks like they're ready to send Jared on through, and they do, so they will get straight on into him. And uh, it's just the smashing of the faces here. Not really too many frags coming out as uh, Katsy will push them back a little bit. But it uh, looks like they're still conceding ground nonetheless. MTS is they didn't really have too much to defend that second point. So they will go ahead back on up. See if they can get somewhat of a hold here going on this, uh, on this third point. And this third point really has been the focal point of both defenses. Yep. Uh, just so hard to crack. Marissa starting it off strongly by taking down Sid. KND cannot get frustrated here. They need to keep up this pace. They did a pretty good job breaking MTS's second hold. Uh, if the game is probably going to be decided by who gets the better third hold. Yeah, it's definitely been, as you said, a, uh, a pivotal point on both halves here. So uh, we'll see what happens. But Marissa was able to get Ender as well on that two kill streak that she has going for her so far. But both teams are going to have this Uber here. Harb already up on his and Nursey just coming up on hers right now. So we should be seeing something here relatively soon. They're keeping that heel beam steady on the Sizz right now, though they really need him to get a pick, and that's exactly what he's going to get, taking down Giraffe. He does get taken out right away by Marissa, but that will give them some room to push on forward here, and KD will get straight on into them. Harb almost getting called out, really milking this Uber, and he gets taken down by Storm. Ariane milked the Uber for just a bit too long, and that is a huge backstab from them, and that will give KD some excellent ground to move on forward here. Marissa should be going down shortly, as Spamfest trying to hold them off, but what a push from K and D! Yeah, all the, all of it just going in Candy's favor there. As Storm coming in huge with that clutch pick, and right now they just need to get on this cart and have that times three. Akuma taking down Sizz. He's almost like a second sniper. He's so hot with that ambi right now. Candy needs to be careful of him, but they do need to keep the pressure up. Harblue is very close around the corner here. Uh, Enigma goes down to Sate. Well, we are going to see Nursey with a pretty heavy advantage here, around 30% or so. Akuma and Enigma both down for MTS right now. They will get their spawns by the time the Uber fight comes through, but Candy definitely with a clear advantage here to move on through with it. So they just want to get that card up. Sizz is going to try and maybe uh, work a little something as well, but they pop it straight on through. Harb is the first pick that goes down. Giraffe will fall as well. There's still a mini up top, but not too much harm done by that. And the push here working out well so far. Kresna getting yet another frag onto Dill, taking down Katsy as well. There's only four players left alive. Make that three players for MTS right now. There ain't really no defense for them as KD has just been rolling on through them. Ender is staying steady on that cart, and they are just camping the spawn right now, not giving them any opportunity to get out. They do have some room up top here. We'll see if they can do anything with it. Marissa is going to have to come up with some huge clutch headshots, but Mer Giraffe is going to get taken out by Storm Ariana, and Sizz will blast the head off of Marissa as well, and I just see backstabs all over the place, but that wow. regardless. Oh, both man. teams just so confused as to what was happening, that Akuma <laughs> and Storm just getting tons of picks at the end there. Very funny ending. Uh, God, K and D just turning on the afterburners after they took that second point. The commanding caps of both third and last. All starting with that big pick from Storm.
<laughs> if you don't know his name already, you should. Storm Arian, a top plat spy, and showing it off here tonight with some big picks. Yeah, that was absolutely massive. I mean, that was basically the the game changer for them there. That that allowed that allowed them to go ahead and just roll straight on through, getting that drop onto Harb. And I mean, uh, you, you know, if you're in Harb's spot right there, would you say he just milked it a little bit too long? I think he was getting a little greedy at some point, though. You just ha you can't predict a great movement like that. Storm coming in at just the perfect time, sweeping in from that. Uh, that stairs and getting him when he was looking over that cliff. That's a tricky play to make. Uh, maybe a little bit of a slip up from K uh, MTS's combo, but still, I, I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Harblu was, was probably doing the right thing and milking it there. He really wasn't in any danger otherwise. Yeah, that is very true. I mean, there wasn't really anybody around him except... Well, obviously Storm Arion lurking in the uh, lurking in the woodwork there, but uh, nonetheless, that was a big round for K and D right there. And MTS is going to have to have an even bigger offense as they need to get all these points here. What now? They're down to five minutes and thirty-five seconds to get all of them. So it's going to have to be a huge offense for MTS right here, or they will be seeing the losers bracket here coming up. As Dill has been taken down by Storm Arion here, so that'll definitely slow the push a little bit but they don't really have too much time to be slowed right now and giraffe is gonna fall as well before harb could even save him with the uber and that was pretty much wasted for them they weren't really able to do much of anything with it and they're uh, it'd be nice to get all oh, remedy getting rocked by a reflect from satan as well and uh so far not uh not in not too looking too hot i should say for uh, MTS, but certainly they do have some time here, about 4 minutes and 50 seconds, and just as I say that, a couple of frags coming through for them, Sizz has been taken down, Storm Arion and Ender as well, so maybe now a little bit of room for MTS to work with, as they're getting ready to go here, and uh, Nursey was actually forced on that Uber here, and they're just gonna send it straight on through here, and he's gonna try and get something on the Harb here, got one rocket off, wasn't able to get anything else though, and Harb does stay alive, but he has to be careful, he's wide out in the open, finally taking cover, but MTS gets uh, just demolished there, but luckily for them, oh, Akuma right behind Nursey does get that backstab, as that is a huge play from Akuma there to get exactly the pick that they needed, and that will leave some big room for Harb to get on oh, here, but Sis drops man. Harb straight on back with the Machina body shot, and oh my goodness, the med pick's coming left and right here. And this oh is not so far, man. Just a crazy blaze coming in for both teams. Just both medics going down there to pick classes. <laughs> and Sis and Akuma both going huge for their own teams. And, and it's almost like it's, it's back to square one as both medics have about even Ubers going into the second point. Wow, what a first point to start this game off. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't get the smile off my face. This is awesome. This, uh, this is great. You can't ask for a much of a better oh. game than this. And here comes Sizz again. Snapshot. He's on a three kills, kill streak there. Yeah, definitely is. Uh, he, he rocked Marissa once again. So K and D uh, still holding steady here. They're, they got the hold on to the second point right now. Definitely looking for Sizz to do some more work here as he's been doing in this overtime period. So here comes MTS. They don't have too much time though. They really need to get a big push going and that Uber is actually going to be popped off from KD here trying to get straight into them. Harb is still alive. He's only 2% away. He does have it now, but Satan is on him and he's gonna air blast him right off the cliff. Harb is so close to falling off, but he managed to keep himself on it. But regardless, KD just got absolutely demolished on this second point here. Jarrett was trying to get away, but uh, Sad, sad zone for him as he had 10 guys coming towards him, but uh, that was a, a good push, good response right back from MTS there. Yeah, uh, just <laughs> pretty impressive play. Giraffe sitting here just trying to block out the spawn as KD tries to get back. That fight was just so close to being completely in the opposite direction. Kresnik got picked while he was about to take out Dill and uh, the flank, and again, it was Satan going down right as he was about to take out Harbu just very close moments for KD that MTS managed to get in their favor. Uh, and here it is, the third point. They need to make this in one push. It's so close right now uh, to being unobtainable by MTS, but I think it is still doable if they get a smooth push here onto the third point. Yeah, they're going to need a massive, massive push starting right now 
As uh, certainly getting a pick onto Sizz would be very nice, but they're gonna go ahead, pop it off anyway, send them straight on through there. Sizz does go down, but the counter pop coming right back out of Nursey, and Satan's gonna start denying them. Hard blast it all the way up into the sky, and he will fall to his death. And that should, uh, unless some big picks come through here, sh could seal the deal for KD here. Nursey is quite hurt at the moment, so she needs to be careful, and they're trying everything they can to get something onto her and it looks like they're gonna go ahead and just set up at last here to be safe but they need to be oh excuse me i was looking at the wrong spawn there but uh uh right now it's certainly possible as you said for for them to get on through here storm arion taking down marissa with a big ambi headshot there so about a minute and 15 seconds left here mts needs to have an amazing push here certainly uh doable if they stay on that cart steady though Again, every pick in this last minute is going to count for so much more than the, the time leading up to this. Like, Giraffe going down there is just such a crucial play uh, for K and D because they can't put on that pressure that his stickies would have had. He's already back up the very nice sticky jumps by Giraffe to get back to the front as fast as possible. And it's going to come down to this last Uber fight here. I mean, Harb is... Uh, gonna be up on that uber soon. They only have about 40 seconds left here to go and he's sitting at about 80% uber Nursey sitting at a full 100% here as Akuma has gone down Dill was able uh, To uh, get one as well. I believe so Satan actually goes down and that'll help them at least get in here They don't have a pyro to deal with both teams pop off their ubers the sentry has gone down though They get to take care of that scissor getting Marissa as well, but here come the frags from k &D. They are just demolishing MTS here as they try to move in towards this last point, and I don't think there's any more room for them here. They're gonna have to have a miracle play, and it's not gonna happen. That will be it, folks. k and D pulling it out in overtime, wow. and they will be heading to the UGC Platinum Highlander Season 15 Grand Finals. What a game. KND securing their spot back to back grand champion participants. Uh, let's see. We're going to see if they take home another one. They looked incredibly solid in that, that third half. Uh, again, just fixing mistakes left and right, mitigating uh, Marissa's damage there, as you can't really stop it with such a prolific sniper. But great work by KND to kind of play around Sizz a little bit more, help him end that game with, a, I think, a five kill streak. Um, getting the last one onto Enigma at the end there. And Nursey <laughs> having a much better third half than she was in the second, dying significantly less. Whereas Harblue just got picked at the end there. Uh, you know, three really important times. Of course, probably the most important coming from Storm. Gosh, what yeah. a play there by him. That's definitely decided the round, in my opinion. Oh, without a doubt. That was so crucial, and uh, it was absolutely amazing to see. Uh, you know, and it was such a back and forth game, too, the whole time. I mean, it, half of it was the story of Marissa and Sizz going at it, and, uh, you know, you also had Ibby and Adigma trading spots throughout the whole the whole match there and it was just I mean you can't really ask for too much more in a game of a Highlander that was uh, you know about as one probably the most exciting game I think I've uh, personally seen in Highlander for the for the little bit that I've done but man that was uh, that was just a treat to watch I, I had a lot of fun with that and now it's going to be uh, whoever can uh, it's going to be what hateful eight uh, and this is MTS I believe yep. in the lower bracket Yep, so the, the winner of that game will go on to uh, face off against K&D in the Grand Finals. But there you have it, folks. K&D taking down MTS. It went the full distance, but they managed to pull it out there back and forth game all around all night. But it surely was a treat to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as we did. But uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start wrapping things up here. Grizz, do you have any closing comments for us? Yeah, of course. I've got to throw some... Uh some pitches out there thank you saloon.tf you guys are great for the community always excited to see those bets getting placed on team if you guys haven't heard go over and check saloon.tf it is a friendly betting site where you can bet on your tf2 matches um as and i'd also like to throw a little bit of a nod towards my own tournament the 2015 highlander draft uh go check out ugc or the tf2 t uh, tf uh team fortress tv sorry uh, <laughs> Uh, for details on that, it should be an exciting event. Shoutouts to Vibe Gaming. You guys are great if you ever watch this. And of course, uh, new players, if you are looking for a clinic on how to play Upward, this might be the game to watch. Just excellent performances yeah. by both teams. 
Oh, without a doubt, man. That was uh, that was awesome, awesome game to watch. I certainly learned a lot as well. So uh, we'll definitely be seeing more of both of these teams here in the coming week as they battle it out in the lower bracket as well as the grand finals. So without further ado, I think that is going to end the stream for us tonight here, folks. Thank you for joining us here on X Television. Big shout out to Grizz for sticking in here with me tonight as well as uh, as well as Dasher as he does an excellent job as always on the production. So that'll do it for it. That'll do it. Hello. That'll do it. it. <laughs> oh my God. It's been a long night. I think night. I need to go it's to bed. It's been, yeah. been, been a long night. We're going to need to go to bed. Buddy. Yeah. All right. We're done. We're done. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight.